right, so we had J.J. Thompson and Robert Milliken doing some work with electrons. And so atoms are not indivisible after all. So J.J. Thompson, so he's, he said, well, if they're not indivisible, we know we've got these negatively charged particles. And so what he said is this is plum pudding. So this is like a British thing. So if you don't really know like what plum pudding is, that's okay. So he said that there's this like, so within an atom, there's this positively charged mass. So it's positively charged blob and that in this positively charged blob there are negatively charged electrons within the blob so i really eat plum pudding but i like to eat banana pudding and so if in banana pudding you know you put vanilla wafers in it if you make good banana pudding so the gelatinous part would be positively charged and vanilla wafers would be your electrons and so they're just kind of in there randomly so that's the plum pudding model and that's what he said so what you would expect is if this is what it's worth or how it's supposed to how it's supposed to be we have this guy and his name is ernest rutherford so ernest rutherford so he said well let's figure this out so he decided to take this gold foil, must have been wealthy, and he shot some stuff through it and had this screen here. And he said that if the plum pudding model is correct, because this is what scientists do, they say, well, hey, if it behaves this way, this is what should happen. Then all of these particles should Um, so all the alpha particles, you have to wear out what an alpha particle is. So all the alpha particles would pass through. However, and so that's what the majority of them did. They all went, most of them went straight through. However, a few of them went and got deflected. Well, that would not happen. And some of them even came straight back at him if this was correct so he said okay this is not the way it is but good try he won a nobel prize for this so he came up with what we call nuclear theory ernest rutherford and so he said well there must be a small portion here and we're going to call this the nucleus nucleus and it contains most of the mass of the element and all of the positive charge. Most of the atom is actually empty space. Now, based on the results of this experiment, and he's correct here. So when we're so when I say most of the atom is empty, um, if you think about um, a stadium like a football stadium whether it, it doesn't really matter which one you know if you're talking about like the titans so i can't remember the name of their field but um a football field now so that is the atom the atom is the football stadium the whole stadium the nucleus would be like if you put a golf ball on the 50 yard line so when I say most is empty space, like just about all of it is empty space. So most of the atom is empty space. That is correct. And then the electrons are outside of the nucleus and they are equal in number to the protons because an atom is neutral, same number of protons, same number of neutrons. This other dude, his name is Chadwick, he came along later, also won a Nobel Prize, and he discovered neutrons. Uh, neutrons are 
non-charged particles and they're similar to protons otherwise they're also located in the nucleus.